continue. Even though a person confesses before eating, he should confess again in, uh, in the evening service. So when we go to the show, Yom Kippur night, 75. Okay, so, so we, we go to shul and um, the prayers is not that long, but uh, one of the part of the prayers is of this uh, big confession. So let's see. The Ramban in Rabbeinu Nisim on Talmud Yoma maintain that the confession should be made at nightfall uh, on, on Yom Kippur before the evening service in order to enter Yom Kippur in the spirit of Teshua. So it's a very good point. I mean, but, but they already, if they did uh, before um, be, before that time, I mean, uh, they, they did it during the midnight, uh, let's say, as we said, at 2 p.m. But uh, Ram, Ramban said the cl closer, right? Closer to the, to the nightfall. Nevertheless, they also agree that the confession must be repeated in evening service. So, I mean, uh, before everything that, that we do before the evening service, it's a different day. It's, it's a previous day. It's, it's not your Yom Kippur. It's uh, uh, Eve of Yom Kippur, but it's not Yom Kippur itself. All right. Nevertheless, I also agree. Okay, so must repeat the evening service. Okay, in the evening service. In practice, most authorities do not accept this opinion. However, they recommend uh, the, that the pious uh, pay heed to it, meaning uh, to just one second before evening evening service. So they, they say do do it before before the before the Mali. Okay, that's what they say. All right, no problem. Seventy-five. Continue. Um, and similarly repeat uh, the confession in the morning, right? And most of an afternoon, 76. So of course in the morning is, uh, morning is the longest prayer. Um, now in his commentary of Yoma, the Ramban explains that that confession must be repeated to atone for any wrongdoings that uh, might have been committed that day for it is the final moments of Yom Kippur which brings the atonement. So the whole Yom Kippur is uh, is is very important, but this uh, last uh, last moments of, of Yom Kippur. So we open the Aaron Kodesh, the the Ark, right, when the Torah is started and everybody is standing. Uh, this prayer and uh, we, we, uh, how long is the prayer? I don't know, maybe half an hour, maybe twenty minutes. I don't remember, but it's uh, it's very very important prayer, right? So in that in this place the, in this uh, time they say cry you better cry you want a good year you want a good things right uh, you want to be close to Hashem that's what you you must do cry on this time when the gates are open okay as they say um, just one second uh, so uh, the Ramban explained that confession must be repeated to atone any wrongdoings that might have been committed that day for it is repetition of the confession. Um, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. On the day for it is the final moments of Yom Kippur which brings the atonement. From a mystic perspective, the repetition of the confession can be explained as follows. Right, so, so we did it before Yom Kippur, well, then when Yom Kippur started, then during the day. So what? What exactly? So a person might ask, what exactly did I do? Right? I prayed. I went home. I, I, I went to sleep. And uh, I woke up in the morning. I came to show. What, what exactly did I do wrong? Right? Which is a good question. Um, so, okay. So, okay. Whenever a Jew ascends to a higher spiritual level, the Teshua which he previously underwent is insufficient. Uh, we're going to expand it. Each prayer service represents the, uh, the elevation of our spiritual level and um, consequently is a higher level of the show. So here, well, it's an it's it's un unbelievable explanation. So I say, okay, he did it to show. He, uh, uh, he was a sinner. He was this and he was that. Right? Uh, now he did the show and now since he was forgiven, so he went up in the spiritual level. So now on, on this spiritual level, it's not enough already. This to show is not enough, whatever he did. 
like uh, the, the, the higher you are on the spiritual level, the, the, the higher the sure you must do. So that's why, and um, as we said, uh, the, the most important uh, part of the day, I mean, is a is, is, uh, closing moment. So we, we always ascend in holiness to, to get to that uh, special time. Very interesting explanation, 76. Okay, so confession in the morning, Musaf, afternoon, and Ni last services. So Ni La is the last one. Ni last service is it um, described as in Hilchas Tefila 17 um, at, at present. Okay, so it's a uh, description that is in uh, in, uh, in this verse. Okay, one seven. At present Yom Kippur, in only one day, when uh, these five prayers, sorry, are recited, the Kab Kab Kabbalist explain that this relates to the five different levels of soul which are purified in a holy uh, on this holiday. Right, so that's why it's very interesting. Of course, you go to Kabbalah; it's very interesting. Uh, I, don't, I don't advise to go to Kabbalah, but some things like we can read. Mm -hmm.